Hi, I'm Drake Bell, and this is Nonstop Flight. I've always loved concept albums, you know, Magical Mystery Tour, Tommy, and that's what I wanted to do with this record. I wanted to create, you know, a, a concept album that you you really listen to from beginning to end and take it to the skies and 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 take the audience on this, uh, you know, fun psychedelic journey in the air. The first song on the album is called Going Away. This song is basically my anthem about being completely fed up with Hollywood and how, you know, it can wear someone out and um, just wanting to uh, get out and get away. The next song on the album is called The Wayside. I wrote this song about all of the times that I've spent in Europe with my wife. We've been to Europe a couple times and uh, when I sat down at the piano, the lyrics that started coming to me were just uh, all the memories of you know, our times in Amsterdam and Barcelona and Paris and, and, and all over. And um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of capture that in, in song. Extraordinary Life is a really fun song. It's, a, it's actually a duet that I do with a, a friend of mine, an artist called Brasco, who's, who's brilliant. It's kind of Prince and the Pauper. You have the big star, the Liberace, the Elvis, and, uh, and then you have the, the up and comer, the guy playing in the, in the bars and, and uh, you know, to no audiences and, and them wanting to actually uh, trade lives with each other. The up and comer wanting uh, so badly to be the big star and the big star so badly just wanting to go back to you know, playing the small clubs and, uh, and, and, and not being this, this huge famous star anymore. Um, and so, uh, so it's a really fun song and yeah, I think we'll dig it. Unity is a beautiful song. It's um, it's pure love. It's about you know finding your freedom and and tranquility in in that perfect person and, and creating a unity. I absolutely love this song. This is one of my favorite songs on the album. Just instrumentally, um, the the arrangement, the all of, all of the, the, the playing on it is amazing. The lyrics, the melodies, uh, everything. This is just a really, really fun song and it's about exactly what it says, you know, just um, being afraid to, you know, say, say those words, I love you, and, and uh, you know, just waiting for that right, perfect time and, uh, and how, you know, joyous and explosive you feel when uh, it finally comes out. Everything I Do Is For You is one of the most special songs on this album to me because I, I wrote it for my wife and it's, I mean, it, it, it's saying exactly uh, what it says, you know, um, that everything I do uh, at the end of the day is, is, uh, is for her. This is the Upper Deck Lounge Intermission. I absolutely love this song. It's, it's a total instrumental that I, I wrote and arranged and I, I just, the guitar parts are amazing, all of the horn parts, uh, and it just is that quintessential 1960s feeling of, uh, you know, vintage airlines, nostalgia, and just really sets the tone for the entire record. Living La Vida Loca, obviously, we all know this song, we all love this song. Uh, and ever since I was a kid, I've just been such a fan of, of this song in particular because it's got that vintage swing feel. Um, it's got the Latin grooves and uh, it kind of really uh, encompasses everything that uh, I really love about music. It's got that James Bond electric guitar, the, uh, the awesome horns. Uh, so it was just a, a perfect song to add to the album.
Recording Tainted Love was one of the coolest experiences ever. I I'm so stoked I was able to get Slim Jim Phantom from the Stray Cast to play drums on it. So now I've had Brian Setzer on my Ready Steady Go album. I've got Slim Jim Phantom on this album. I jammed with Lee Rocker when I was a kid, so I've officially played with all three Stray Cats. Um, that's a, definitely a bucket list of mine checked off. So this is uh, incredible that um, I was able to get into the studio and, and rock with Slim Jim Phantom. This is, this is amazing. You're going to love it. Angel in a Small Cafe is really uh, just a short, sweet song about kind of your first date, you know, your first time meeting and how you build it up in your mind of how she's going to be, you know, so incredible when she walks in the room and, and you're going to be able to spot her in a crowd and how you're trying to find a shirt with no stains and, and uh, just, just hoping that uh, you can impress her. You're Not Thinking is actually a cover song of one of my songs that I released on an album called A Reminder, which was an EP I put out a few years ago. Um, but it's a different version and I rocked it up a bit. I love the lyrics. Just one night, I don't know what it was, but I was just sitting there and, and I was thinking of lyrics in, in Hollywood and then all of a sudden Holly wouldn't like popped into my brain. I was like, oh, that's so, that's a, what a cool lyric. And then I, I came up with this idea of a, a girl named Holly and she wouldn't leave Hollywood and you know we came out to, to this town together and I'm, I'm fed up with it and I gotta get out of here but Holly doesn't wanna leave, she's gonna stay. And, and so it just came, became this whole uh, uh, fun play on words called Hollywood and, and uh, I just love how it turned out. And I think you were too. This is, you know, as you're you're descending through the clouds and everything's, you know, becoming clear on this this psychedelic trip that you're on. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is the song of redemption. This is where you find yourself and, and everything sort of, you know, becomes clear and and uh, you see what what really matters in life and, and uh, what's important. A lot of people have been asking me what style or genre my new album is. I realize I'm, I'm actually creating a, a new genre and I'm calling it cosmic pop. You know, uh, meaning basically uh, inconceivably vast, like the cosmos, right? We have power pop, but I really think this album is, is pushing the boundaries. Recording, songwriting, but it's still rooted in pop sensibility. You know, it's got these huge pop choruses, but um, each track is so dense musically and and we really left no stone unturned with, with the vocal harmonies and, and the horn parts and, and all the guitar parts and everything that we put into it. I think it's a, a new sound. It's cosmic pop. I'm Drake Bell, and that was Nonstop Flight.